Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. This is part one of my Awaken series, where I will lead you through four gentle flows to help start your day off right. So let's jump right in. Let's greet our morning with some stillness by coming to a child's pose, separating the knees, connecting the toes, and sitting the hips back as far as you can. Extend the arms overhead and bring energy into each fingertip as you place them on the mat. Let the breath come in here, filling as you inhale and letting it gently deflate on the exhale. Press up through the hands, and we're going to open up the right shoulder blade by reaching the right arm horizontally and interlocking the fingers to find more leverage here. Press up through the hands and we'll do the other side by extending the left underneath the right and interlocking the fingers once again to find some space in this left shoulder. Come up to a tabletop position and we'll prepare to do a variation of cat and cow by taking your left leg and placing it horizontally beside you with a full foot on the ground and then begin to inhale to drop the belly and exhale to suck in through the belly and lift to your arch. Moving at your own pace as always making sure that your movement is always connected to your breath. Bring the left foot in and extend the right out and continue exploring movement in your spine. Maybe you can play with initiating your movement from the tailbone and then maybe from the neck. Bring the right leg in, coming back to a neutral spine. Tuck the toes and sit back into your heels here. Let's warm up the wrists by taking your fingertips and aiming them towards your knees. If this places any pressure on your wrists, then aim your fingertips in more of a diagonal direction. And then once you're there, gently move around in little circles to the right sitting back into the heels and coming up. And after a few revolutions, change direction. And when you're ready, go ahead and turn your fingertips towards the top of your mat. Place your forearms on the mat 
and interlock your fingers to support yourself. Draw a line of energy through the left leg as you lift that heel, keeping the hips closed at first. Open up the hips to draw that same foot over, pressing the heel against an imaginary sidewall. And then bring it back around all the way to the other side to cross the right leg and rest the toes on the floor. Start to rock back and forth into the heel to get a bit of a calf stretch here. Bring the left leg back to the center and lift up to your hands, bringing that left knee in towards the chest and placing the foot in between your hands. Make sure that the knee is just over the ankle here. Keeping the right knee on the mat, you can either stay in this position or lift your hands up to rest above your knee, or you can extend both arms overhead and possibly into a back bend. Pull up through the belly and lift to twist towards the left. Allow your drishki or gaze to follow towards your left hand. Extend the arms overhead to unwind and we'll open up towards the right side wall. Tilt over, placing the left hand in the inner sole of that front foot, staying open through the rib cage. Let your gaze lift to your high hand. Windmill that right arm down and take the left over to the other side of your foot. Sit back into your hips and straighten that front leg. Inhale to find length in your spine and then fold over a little bit deeper into this stretch. Pull the right hip point back. If you'd like to flex that front foot for a bit more of a calf stretch, feel free to do that. You can either stay here or go back and forth placing the foot on the mat and then lifting the toes again to a flex. Whatever feels good for your body today. Bending the left knee once again, tuck the right toes and lift that back knee high. Pivoting the back foot on the mat, rise to warrior one, except we're going to bring our arms behind our backs here, interlocking the fingers and opening up this heart space. Pulling the shoulder blades in towards each other and keeping the palms of the hands pressed, go ahead and fold over into a humble warrior. Inhale to rise, placing the arms on either side of that front foot. Unpivot the back toes and bring all of your weight towards your left foot as you lift the right into a standing splint. You can also use a block here if you can't quite reach the floor. Otherwise, see if you can grab behind your ankle to pull your chest even closer towards your leg. Engage in your hips to really draw a line of energy through that high leg all the way through a pointed toe. And when you're ready, bring that foot all the way 
way down to meet the other and fold over into your Uttanasana. Standing forward bend, keeping a micro bend in the knees, maybe resting your chest on your thighs, letting go of all of the muscles in your neck and your head, letting it hang heavy here. Find some movement, maybe a sway, maybe a shake of the head, yes and no. And then place the hands beside your feet and step back into a high plank, keeping the hips in line with the rest of your body. Let's build some fire here in our core, gaining energy for our day ahead. Pull up through the belly towards the spine. Just a few more breaths, you got it. Separate the knees and sit back into a beautiful child's pose. Take this opportunity to reconnect with your breath. Maybe you're beginning to feel some energy in your body, getting excited for the day ahead. Come up to your tabletop position again. Find a neutral spine. And then we'll lower to our forearms once again, bracing ourselves as we shoot that right heel directly behind us to press against that back wall, keeping the toes in line with the mat. And then opening up the hips, we'll turn those toes to face towards the side wall, trying to stay lifted as much as possible and then bringing it all the way back around to the other side to rest those toes past the left leg and on the floor. Rocking the heel back and forth, pressing into the toes. And bring the right leg back to the center. Coming up to your hands, pulling that right knee in towards your chest and placing it in between your hands. Opening up the hips here in whatever position you choose, either keeping the fingertips on the mat, maybe you're using a block for this, or rising your hands to just above your knee. Or maybe you'd like to completely extend the arms overhead and possibly a little bit back. Pull in through the belly, open up this heart space. And no matter what variation you chose, go ahead and raise your arms now to inhale. And then we're going to twist over to the right wall spreading our fingers wide. Inhale to reach up and open towards the other direction, towards the left wall, and then tilt over, placing the right fingertips either on a block on the mat, wherever feels comfortable to you, staying open through the left side ribs. Allow your gaze to rise to your high hand. And bring the left arm down and the right to the other side of the foot. Tuck the back toes and pivot that foot to rise to your warrior one, using the variation we did on the other side by bringing our palms together behind us and pulling down to cause the shoulder blades to come towards each other. Exhale to fold over into your humble warrior, 
keeping the palms of the hands together and allowing your arms to fall behind you. Inhale to rise and release the arms to the mat, centering the hips and bringing all of your weight to the right foot to lift the left toes as high as you can. Again, you can use a block here, grab your calf, your ankle, whatever you can reach, and pull your chest in towards your leg, engaging through your lower body extending that leg as high as you can and release beautiful go ahead and fold over into your Uttanasa once again shaking everything out this time lift your toes to slide your hands underneath to find even more of a hamstring stretch Slowing the breath and slowing the mind. Recognizing when thoughts come in, acknowledging them and letting them pass. Just so that you can learn how to be present here right now for yourself on your mat today. Carefully remove your hands and we're going to go into a seated twist by lifting the right leg behind you and placing that shin first on the mat. Then you can take a natural seat there, extending the right arm and crossing at the knee with the left arm behind you, pulling yourself towards your left shoulder. Coming out of this and leaning forward, placing all of your weight in the left foot, come back to your standing forward bend. And we'll do the other side by placing the left shin behind you on the mat and taking a natural seated twist here. Inhaling to extend through your spine as you raise your left hand and then gently place it past your right knee to find your twist on this side. Unwind when you're ready and come to a neutral seat on your mat with your legs out in front of you. And engaging your core as you slowly release all the way down to your Shavasana. Letting the knees splay out, your feet fall to the side, palms towards the sky. Just let the belly rise and fall. Choosing an attitude of gratefulness this morning as you enter into the rest of your day. As always, I encourage you to stay in this position as long as you like. I'm honored to lead you through these poses and a healthy mindset for your day ahead. Thank you so much for choosing my video to practice with today. And if you enjoyed it, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. Have a beautiful day, everybody.